Well, Mike, there's a football game this weekend. It's not your beloved Broncos. Uh, there is. Uh, you and I, being journalists, don't like it when somebody misleads us. Last week, Harvard football coach Tim Murphy mm -hmm. told us, you remember this, told mm -hmm. us the home opener against Brown would be a tough, hard-fought contest, and he was taking nothing for granted. Final score, Harvard 53, Brown 27. So, Coach, we're not buying it. Um, you're playing Georgetown this weekend on Bloomberg 1200 AM. And you can hear that. It's actually tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow night at 7, so the pregame starts on 1200 AM in Boston at 645. I, don't tell me you could lose this game. Well, we can lose any game, fellas, I guarantee <laughs> you. If you don't come to play, you make mistakes, uh, you, anybody can beat you. Uh, you did not make a lot of mistakes last weekend. It was, uh, it was a, 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 a blowout very, very early. Uh, and the, the interesting article in the Harvard Crimson, you're in the Harvard Stadium, an interesting article about how people at the, at the stadium were, were watching the, you know, the vendors, watching the cheerleaders, uh, you know, watching the players on the sideline. Uh, how do you keep your team in the game? when you go out and immediately start stomping on the opponent? Well, it's a nice position to be in. It was just one of those nights that we played very well in all phases, offense, defense, special teams, and I think it was a classic case of Murphy's Law for Brown. It, that wasn't the Brown team we're used to seeing, and, and I think if you play long enough in any league at any level, you're going to have one of those nights. It was one of those nights, and everything went our way. Uh, Coach, I've been watching NHL preseason hockey. It's ugly, folks. It's painful. Clumsy people sort of throwing the puck around. What's the difference between a good college football team, game three or four, versus the first game of the season? How does that tightness change? Well, I think, like anything, you work out the bugs. Um, you know, right now we're a better football team than we were three weeks ago, and our philosophy is our next game is our best game, and by, by the Harvard-Yale game, we hope to be playing our best football. How complex is your book, the, the thing, the book that has all the plays in it? I mean, it's Harvard. Is it like maximum X's and O's, or do you go simple? I wouldn't say it's terribly simple, but it's not, it's not Greek either, fellas. It's not rocket science. Uh, a lot has been made about uh, the University of Oregon, University of Maryland, and their spiffy new uniforms. Harvard has spiffy new uniforms. Uh, how often do you change the way you look? How important is that to the players? Well, it's funny. Um, you know, we have beautiful, iconic uniforms, which will remain our beautiful, iconic uniforms, hopefully for generations to come. Crimson with gold pants. Um, but the bottom line is you have to adapt. You have to evolve. And... I think uh, every generation wants a little bit different look, and uh, I think Oregon was probably on the forefront of this, and now everyone in America, including Notre Dame, who may have the most iconic uniforms, has an alternative uniform, and, and we've done that too with some of our night games, but when we play our biggest rivals, I guarantee it will be in our beautiful crimson and gold iconic uniforms. And, uh, Ninety percent of the people love it, and, and obviously there's ten percent who feel that uh, you know it's not perfect, but you do what you think is best. Tom has to go run out and buy a new alternative jersey, but we wish you uh, luck this weekend. Alternative bow tie. Alternative bow tie, exactly. Crimson and gold. Uh, Harvard coach Tim Murphy. They are undefeated they, uh, so far this year. Uh, 16 in a row, the longest uh, among the football conference oh. uh, championship subdivision. I mean, uh, even Ohio State can't match what Coach Murphy has done. 6.45 pregame show on Bloomberg 1200 AM as Harvard takes on Georgetown.